Do you guys remember what Perof was? If not, I'm just going to keep reminding you every single class. <laughs> Expensive. Right. What else? Yes. That's fantastic. Good job. I don't even have to write anything. That's really good, actually. I'm glad you guys are listening. And I will say this every class so you'll remember it. Because if you don't know this, you're gone. <laughs> Yuji, what's value? Uh, um, cheaper than the market value. I guess, like, perception-wise. Right. Good. So I'm going to add something to that very quickly, right? So growth, I said, is more expensive. So what I mean is that, so when you invest in a growth stock, right, that means that even though it's expensive, you think it's worth more, right? Every time you invest, you want to make money, right? So you think it's worth more. You invest in something cheap because you think it's worth more. You invest in something expensive because you think it's worth more, right? Good. It's done. Perfect. <clears throat> Do you guys remember what long position is? So these are just types of investors. This is personality, right? Portfolio positions. Portfolio is just uh, a lot of stocks together, right? Laura covered that. So do you guys remember what long position is? It will right. Good. Right. Good. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is. So when you can, when you think of long, right? The way they got this name is basically when they call it long, that means you actually own it. So when I buy this marker, right, I own this. And because I, I bought the marker, <laughs> I have to keep this marker for a long time. Right? So that's where the definition comes. Fantastic. What's short? Right. Cool. Now I'm actually going to explain this again. I know I covered this in the, uh, in the class, but then uh, I'll review this uh, for the next three classes. So pay attention, because um, shorting is actually a little complicated. but. It's not too bad. So when you short, I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard me say this before, but if I repeat it enough times, you'll remember it. So the way you short a stock is what happens is there's a contract. Okay? So this is a piece of paper between um, so this is the bank Right? Yuji, you're going to be the bank, right? And me, Dory? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're a lot prettier. Um, that would be you. <laughs> okay? So, you are um, investor, right? Okay. Fantastic. So, basically, there's sort of a contract. Every time you're shorting a stock, you know, you're always going to a bank, usually. I mean, you can trade between investors, but that's just kind of like... It's weird. <laughs> Everybody goes to a formal like contract or table. And this is a contract between a bank, basically. So what happens when you short is, if you remember during my mock class, <clears throat> um, so Midori, right? You think that PYD is going to lose value, right? Remember, it's going down, right? And for whatever reason, right? You, well, we'll go over how to do that. So you think PYD is going to lose value, right? So that means you're taking a short position. That's what it's called, right? And the other one is called long position, right? So, so you're going to take a short position. You want PYD to go down. So what you're going to do is, in this contract to Yuji, um, so how much do you want to short, right? So you, want, you have to short a certain amount of stock, right? So let's just say a thousand. A thousand stock, but we usually call this shares. They mean the same thing, right? So that means Midori says PYD is going to go down and she's going to short a thousand stocks. When you short this stock, right, this is a contract to borrow, okay? So that means you're borrowing the 1,000 stocks, but then you don't actually own anything. Do you know what that means? So it's basically, it's just an agreement that you're borrowing something. So it's like something magical. You don't, there's actually, there's no like physical thing. You know what I mean? This is just sort of like in a contract, there's an idea. For example, right, let's say, um, let's say I owed you money, right? I write in the contract, I'm going to pay you back. <laughs> right, but I don't have any like proof that you're going to pay me back. So this is almost like an idea, right? So this is just a contract, right? 
So in this contract, Midori says, I want to short 1,000 shares, 1,000 stock. So the way you short stock is you borrow it, right? So you borrow it hypothetically. So you borrow 1,000 shares, right? Does that make perfect sense? You're all good there, right? So you're borrowing 1,000. And let's say each share is $5, right? Okay, so this is, this is pretty simple, right? You borrow 1,000 and each piece is $5, right? It's not too bad, it's pretty easy. Now, the next step is, <clears throat> you guys can read this, right? I'm writing a lot neater today, actually. Um, <clears throat> so also under this contract, there's, no, there's nothing physical yet, okay? This is only an agreement, right? You have to return a thousand stock, right? When, when you borrow something, you have to return it. Does that make sense? No one's just going to let you borrow something for no price, <laughs> right? So you have to return a thousand stock or shares. Are you guys with me for now? It's pretty easy, right? So you're just borrowing a thousand shares and each of it is worth five dollars, right? But when you borrow something, you have to return it. So you have to return one thousand. There's a question mark here, right? Because this can change, right? This change is based on whether the price goes up or down, right? So the reason, so the reason that um, Yuji, the bank, is going to let you borrow money is because he thinks PYD is going to gain value, okay? He, the Yuji thinks PYD is going to gain value. He thinks PYD is probably maybe going to, let's just make a number for fun, right? Go up to $10 a share. This is always per share. Is it the small amount? Right? But Midori, right? You're the one who thinks it's going to lose value, right? You're the one who went to Yuji in the beginning. So you think PYD, let's, let's make this fun. <laughs> you think PYD is going to go to just $1. Right? So this makes sense, right? So the reason you're investing is because you think it's going to go down, right? And Yuji is willing to take on this agreement because he thinks it's going to go up, right? So when the stock goes down, Midori makes money, right? But when the stock goes up, Yuji makes money, right? This is pretty simple. You guys can see this. Now, this number over here, right, is not affected by anything you do. You cannot affect this number, right? So this number is basically the price of each share. So for example, let's say you're buying markers, or you're buying pencils, you're buying water bottles, you're buying cameras, right? You can't control the price of the camera, right? You can't just go to the store and be like, oh, I want this camera for $2. They sell you that camera at whatever price it's worth, right? Like, let's say you own a business, right? You're not going to be like, oh, sure, sure, I'll give it to you for $5. No, right? There's always a price. This price is determined by how much people will pay for it, right? Uh, a handbag, if it's a brand name handbag, people will pay $1,000 for it, right? If it's a brand name television, people will pay $500, $800 for it, right? Flat screen, 72 inch. That's actually pretty big. Okay, so, Let's just take a uh, first scenario, right? So, all right, do you guys follow me up to here? Makes sense, right? Okay, so let's actually look at this question mark, right? This is what happens to, like, the market, right? So that means, um, okay, um, okay, uh, let's say that all of a sudden, right, um, PYD got a lot of students. So you know Roberto? Roberto actually reached out to uh, Princeton. Princeton's a very good university, <laughs> by the way. And we're trying to get more students for, for PYD. We used to have a lot of students because uh, Mr. Leo, or Sakai, he used to work for Bank of America, and he had a lot of friends, connections, and then they all spread the word about PYD. 
So we used to have like 89,000 students or something, or not 90,000, but we had a lot, a lot of students. And it was like 10 students every like two weeks, right? So let's say that because of Roberto's like marketing and everything, PYD gains value, right? Not only, if, not only because of Roberto's marketing, right? But let's say people, right, just want to better themselves and they, they hear about PYD or somehow, right? So this is the first scenario, PYD goes up. So who do you think is going to make money if PYD stock goes up? You do good. So this makes perfect sense. So you understand the transaction. Now, what actually goes on behind this is that, okay, so now that you have this contract, right, PYD stock goes up. Let's say PYD stock actually goes up to $10 per share. Okay. So this question mark is now $10. So if PYD stock goes up to $10, that means this is what you did in Midori. UG let you borrow 1,000 stock at $5, right? So basically, uh, if you give a value to that, he let you borrow $5,000, right? It's pretty easy. But what you're going to do is, now you have to return, right? See the return over here. Now you have to return 1,000 stock at how much? Ten dollars. Right? Because you borrow a thousand, you have to return a thousand. And this is a question mark. This is based on what happens to the company. Right? So guess what? If this becomes ten dollars, that means... So this is what happens to Midori. So basically what you did is you borrow five thousand dollars and you return ten thousand dollars. Right? So Midori, do you think you lose money or gain money? <laughs> gain. Yeah. No, you actually lose money. Sorry. You oh, borrow uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you borrow five thousand dollars, right? And you have to return more money. <laughs> so that means that you lose five thousand dollars, right? Because you have to pay Yuji five thousand dollars. Make sense? Now what happens to Yuji is so Yuji, you are on the good side. You're the bank. Right? Midori came to you with this agreement. You're really happy. Because what you do is you let her borrow $5,000. And she's returning to you $10,000. Just like this one. Does that make sense? So, so now I'm going to... So this is the first scenario. Does this make perfect sense? It does, right? I'm going to erase this after um, I explain the second half. So the second scenario, right, is basically Midori, this is the reason that you invest in the stock, right? You think PYD is going to lose money. Yuji just got lucky. Yuji wasn't even planning to make money, but he got lucky. So a bank really, um, a bank has, has other things to do than like, they do other stuff to make money. I mean, you yeah. know? Or they have a separate, like, you know, department that makes money for, for them, whatever they do. They sell stocks, they invest, and whatever. They don't have time to worry on this. If someone comes to them with an agreement, if they make money, that's great. You know? They just make the loan because they can make money. But they don't really care about it. It's just some extra money on the side. But the reason you went to Yuji, right, was because you specifically want to make money. Right? So this is what happens. So now this question mark, let's say PYD actually loses value. So even though Roberto reached out to Princeton and all these great schools, these students actually don't end up liking what we have. So, so they, they don't go to our classes. So what happens is that... Oh, uh, yeah, this is the value, right? 